do. Therefore, he has nine. And all of them, they narrated what the Prophet ﷺ used to do in the night, in the house, how he used to pray in the night, how he used to eat, how he used to sleep, even how he used to have intercourse sometimes with his wife ﷺ, or what he said, or what he mentioned regarding that, or something related to the woman's uh, uh, life, personal things. He mentioned it to his wife ﷺ. So, there is a large number of women who witnessed the Prophet ﷺ personal life and narrated that to us. Two, also the Prophet ﷺ, he only married one virgin girl, Aisha radiallahu anha. And the rest of them, they were divorced, wicked, and some of them married three times before the Prophet ﷺ, maybe more. Or maybe only one time before the Prophet ﷺ. Some of them were young, 17 years old, like Safiya. Or some of them she's old, 45 years old, like Khadija. Anha. Some of them were in his age, some of them 20s, when he married them ﷺ. Some of them were so young, like Aisha. Anha. So also they are in different age. And this is tell us, a live example, how you deal with different type of women. If you married a woman, she had a husband before, it's totally different than woman she never had a husband before. You have to treat her in a certain way. You have to know how to, to deal with her. The Prophet ﷺ was example for all these cases. Because he is the role model وسلم, for us. Also, the Prophet ﷺ dealt with the old woman, with the young woman, with the teenager woman, with the 20s woman. He dealt with all of them, and all of them, and they, are have, they have different personalities. So that shows you also how the Prophet ﷺ dealt with this, why the Prophet ﷺ had this large number of women. Also, some of these women, their husbands, ex-husbands, their fathers were the most enemy of Islam. Some of these wives, their, hus their hus ex-husbands or their fathers were the most enemy of Islam. After they married the Prophet wasallam, they all witnessed that he's, the, he's a prophet, no doubt. Such as Safiya, her father was a leader of Jewish who fought the Prophet wasallam to the last moment in his life. He fought the Prophet ﷺ to the last moment in his life. He was the most enemy of the Prophet ﷺ in that time. But his daughter, now she became the Prophet ﷺ wife. She got the ch plenty of chances to kill that man who killed her father. Or who destroyed her father's kingdom. But she never did. She got the plenty of chances to say bad things about him. To watch him closely, if he is lying or not, she will tell, oh, I have seen him did this and that. But she never, the, all of them only narrate what is good about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that show you that he is a true prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why he married these, or this large number of, of, of women. Some of them, he married them by Allah subhanahu wa order. Also, one of the things about the Prophet sallallahu marrying this large number of women, to show you that he's a prophet. Why? Because honestly, if you want to see somebody and to judge his characteristic and to see that he has a good manners or not, or he's truthful or not, don't look at him when he's dealing with people outside home. No. Watch him in his house. Because it's very easy to be tayyib and nice and naive and calm person outside. But you cannot... Hide your real face inside your home. You can might deal with people with other face or with other car, but in home, everybody will know what is you are really, who you are. So, in the Prophet ﷺ, in his home, he dealt with nine women. And dealing with one woman sometimes is very difficult to handle. <laughs> sometimes. So, he dealt with nine perfectly. He dealt with nine perfectly. All of them pleased with him. Even though you will see sometimes, Wallah, if I imagine myself over there, and they doing this to me, I will be nuts. I will, be, I will lose my mind. But he never, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that showed that he was a prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because this kind of personality, this 
perfection in his personality, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it's only because he was a prophet. That it doesn't mean to give an excuse for the brothers up front that whatever you said, we shouldn't do it because he's a prophet. No, this is not. I'm not saying that for that. But we should copy him, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as much as we can. Let's start. The Prophet ﷺ used to show his love to his wives. And also don't forget, the Prophet ﷺ, is, he, he was not, yeah, and he exists two years ago in 20th centuries. We're talking about 13 centuries. You have to keep in your mind what's the people mentality in that time. How the people deal with women in that time. In Europe, woman means nothing. In Europe, in that time, women mean nothing in all sense. It means basically she's impure creations. She's not allowed to touch the Bible. She's not allowed to walk in church. She's not allowed to inherit any money. As a matter of fact, when the Prophet ﷺ was 30 years old, the mother church came up with uh, 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 saying that a woman is a body of a human being, but his soul is evil. That's what the mental, that the way people view the woman in a such place like Europe. In, in China and in India, a woman has no right to live if her husband dies. She will burn alive with him. She's nothing. In Arab people, they view woman even worse. Woman, she doesn't deserve to live. The Arab people used to say, there is a woman when she's born, she, she should be buried alive. When she's an infant, when she's a newborn, they used to take her to the grave and just bury her. They said, that's it. No, no woman. They used to inherit the woman. If a father die, his wife will go to his son. A'udhu billah. It is, was very bad way of dealing with women in the whole world. So imagine a man came in that time and look how he dealt with his wife. He never read novels. He never watched salt. He never knew things like... It is a person who raised in desert. And look at this characteristic, this wonderful life he had, sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam. The Prophet, sallam, he will show his love to his wives in every chance. Not only to them, even to others. Once the Prophet, sallam, was in a battle, it's called that Salasin. And he ordered Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As to be the ruler of the Muslims army in that time to lead the attack. And in the army there is great sahaba, great companions of the Prophet ﷺ, companions. Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As, uh, Amr ibn al-As, sorry, he thought because he had been chosen to be the leader of the attack, he's better than the other companion. So he went to the Prophet ﷺ, he chose the, yani he saw the Prophet ﷺ sitting and he said, Ya Rasulullah, whom you loved most, Ya Rasulullah. He wanted to take it because if the Prophet said him, mention him, he's yani be so happy, proud of that. He said, Aisha. My wife, Aisha. He said, This is the one I love most. See, he said that, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in her absence, in front of his friends, in front of his companion. No, he, he showed his love, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He loves her so much. Then he said to him, no, 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 I'm not asking about you this kind of love. <laughs> I'm asking about who you love most among men. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Bi Abi wa Ummi. He said, Her father. 